Hey guys, Ben from Ben's Game Time, and I'm doing this uh, special video because, as you can probably tell by the upper left corner once it gets around to it, but I have hit 50,000 gamer score on Xbox. Um, so yeah, I hit this back on October 19th of this year, 2016, and so yeah, this is a pretty big thing for me because I love getting achievements. I am very much the kind of guy that just tries and gets all the achievements he can. So this has been just like a big effort for me, and so what I want to do is just kind of like go through the games list I have so far and just kind of mention any highlights. So yeah, uh, basically I started playing Xbox uh, like mid to late July of 2010. So it took me about six years to get to get to this point, which isn't really the best time um, to reach 50k. I mean that's actually not that great, but like. You gotta, like, kind of remember that, like, for most of that time, like, for the first four years of that, I was in high school, didn't have a job, so I'd only get things around my birthday or Christmas or whatever. So, yeah, I just didn't have a job, no way to really just continuously get games. Um, and I only have held two jobs so far. One was a job at my first university I went to, and one was over this past summer. And most of the money from that first job went to getting the Xbox One, so yeah, I just haven't had... I've never really had a lot of money to just spend on games in the past whatever years. But anyway, um... And also on top of that, like, I would go for, like, max prestige in the some of the Call of Duty games, so that ate up a lot of time as well. So let's just go through the list. Um, so this is kind of, like, orga organized from played last to most recently played, so that's kind of how Xbox orders things, if you didn't know that. Um, so yeah, Soul Calibur before. Uh, this was one of my first games on Xbox. I just am not great at fighting games. So you'll see that a lot of the fighting games I have just have low gamer score amounts, because I'm just not great at them. Um, so yeah, Soul Calibur 4, one of the first games I got. I enjoy it, but I'm just, again, not not great at the, the fighting games. I don't know. I'm better at Smash Brothers than the traditional like arcade style fighting game where you have like quarter circle turns to button presses and frame perfect combos. Um, so yeah, that's that game. Simpsons arcade game uh, going into this one. Uh, this is a really good game. Uh, however, sadly they do not sell it anymore on the Xbox Live Arcade. They ran out of a licensing agreement. So you see it like came out in 2012 was when I first got it. And, I remember just playing it um, way back when at like this one movie theater, and I loved playing it. And then they took the machine out of the movie theater, and now the only way to play it for me is well, one on the Xboxes, but two like the arcade machine itself. I only know of one in existence, and it's at like an amusement park. So uh, the only achievement left I have to go is uh, complete the game on expert difficulty in individual quarters mode. Um, I'm not sure when I'll ever like go back and do this, but, like, yeah, so if you don't have the game, uh, sadly, you can't get it, so there's that, you know, it kind of sucks, I, I wish it was still on the Xbox Live Arcade, because it was a really good game, so moving on, we got Halo 3, uh, you'll notice that's zero gamer score, that's because I don't actually own Halo 3, that's just because I was at a friend's house, and we downloaded my profile on his Xbox, and we just played some co-op, so, Portal 2, I got most of the achievements in this one, uh, I think the only things I'm missing are mostly co-op stuff, really, so there's that. Microsoft Mahjong, that's, uh, so you'll notice some of these games, like Word of Mint, Cut the Rope, Tap Tyrells, these are, like, things that you would find on your, uh, PC, so these are, like, Windows 8, Windows 10 games. So, Mar Mar the Mahjong game, just complete puzzles, complete a hard puzzle, uh, change themes, really easy stuff. I, um, got my laptop... Black Friday of 2013, so this is a, like, I'm still using it to this day, it's like three years old, um, but it is wearing down, sadly, like, I love this laptop, it's not the best one, but it's like, I've used it the most, so yeah, like, so I think, I think I've seen that they updated this game, so there's probably more achievements on there, I'll have to check it out, but yeah, that's like the Windows 8 version, Ornament, um, this is like, if you've ever played Boggle, it's like that. Um, I'm not very great at, like, words, so there's that. Uh, cut the Rope. Only reason I have two achievements 
is because I got the demo of it, but I didn't spend money on the full game. So with, you can only go so far, so I can't really get some of this stuff unless I get the full game. Maybe one day I will. I like Cut the Rope. It's a fun game. I will admit to it. Um, so, Connect Adventures. I have a very small collection of Connect games, and so yeah, was joined by a friend, saw ten different captions, and saw a photo get taken. So yeah, just those three achievements, and that's it. So yeah, and like, there's some other things that like I could have done, you know, and. Mostly, really, the Kinect was a thing that my sister wanted for Christmas one year. So that's the thing. She mostly plays the Kinect and on her own profile. And I do not really play it that much. So, uh, Tap Tiles, that's another one of the PC games. Didn't really play it too much. Uh, Ghostbusters, a video game. Pretty fun game. It's just that, um, I don't know. There's a few achievements I think I'm missing. Mostly, it is a fun game. I highly recommend it. Good story. I would say it's probably, like, the unofficial Ghostbusters 3. So, yeah, we got keep, beat the game on professional difficulty, complete the game with less than 100,000 in property damage. Uh, this is a level-specific one. This is, like, a collectibles achievement because there's a water fountain and it's everywhere, and you got to just take drinks from them. So maybe one day I'll go back and do that because, I mean, 100 gamer score, that's a lot. But then, like, I don't think really anyone plays the uh, Xbox Live. So, yeah, those might be lost forever. Not that the online servers are down. I think they might still be up. I'm not sure. I haven't played in a long time, as you can tell, for it being so low on the list. Skate 2. I love the uh, Skate series of games. But, um, yeah, this one is probably my favorite of the series, Skate 2. And I'm missing just one achievement. And it is... just going to scroll all the way down. Do, 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 do. It successfully complete all online free skate activities with your created skater. Yes, this is a really difficult achievement because it's like a lot of people like to stick to the same maps. So there's like a handful of maps that everybody loves. Um, whereas, yeah, you know, some areas no one really plays on. And so the funny thing about it is I had it, my save file saved to the console itself. And I ran out of storage space on there, and I couldn't continue with that character because there wasn't enough room to save anything on. And I was like, a, I don't know how many away from it. And then I uh, got a hard drive for the Xbox 360, but I just could never get back to that amount of uh, things. So and that's where they formatted it differently slightly. Uh, game room, not really that great a game. It's just like you buy stuff. It's like the game is free, but then you have to download things. I only got like a couple achievements on it because it was like free stuff. Halo 4, I like Halo. Uh, I just don't like play it as much as some other games. So yeah, like there's definitely some achievements I'm missing in that one. Assassin's Creed, pretty close to complete, yeah, completing this one. Really fun game. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, do, do, do. I am missing find all of Richard's flags in the kingdom. Yeah, that's like they have multiple collectible things, and that's the one last collectible thing I need to get, and that's like the biggest one. Uh, go through every dialogue with Lucy. As you go through the game, uh, you can talk to her, and I didn't know that, so miss out on that, I would have to do a second playthrough. And I probably will play through the game another time at some point. And then Eagle's Flight lasts 10 minutes in open conflict. That's like in one thing, though, I think, so that's why I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, GTA 4... Uh, I actually did not own GTA 4, I borrowed the episodes disc from a friend, and so, yeah, you killed a rock star in multiplayer, and that's the only achievement I got, because I just had, I just borrowed it so I could play multiplayer with my friends before GTA 5 came out. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I have a good bit of the achievements on here, I think I'm just missing, like, DLC stuff, and the online. The online is dead for this game, um, I tried, I remember a couple years ago to start playing the online, but I could never find anyone, but yeah. I think I'm just mostly missing some of the DLC stuff. Mortal Kombat, again, I'm not great at fighting games. So, yeah, like the arcade style of fighting games, I'm just not that great at, so that's why I don't have many achievements in this. Simpsons game, this is a really fun game. 
However, the reason why it's so low is that uh, what happened was my save file actually got corrupted, so I couldn't complete the game and get finished getting like collectibles and stuff, and I just haven't like gone back and finished it. Uh, Warface, this is just some like FPS game that uh, I downloaded. It was like a beta, and it had achievements with it, and I just never really played it that much. It wasn't really that. Like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if a lot of people still play this one. In fact, I don't know. But uh, yeah. So there's that. You got Limbo. Uh, fun arcade game. Um, has some more difficult achievements when it comes to I think some collectibles maybe that I'm missing. Yeah. There. Yeah. Don't pull the level lever. Eh, lever just because you can. Right in the crates. So yeah. There's some like different collectibles, and then you got this one. Complete the game in one sitting with five or less deaths. That's a Really tough one, but it's only 10 gamer score, so I guess it's not that bad that I'm missing it. Uh, Dance Central, I have actually not played this one. This, the 150 from this game has actually come from my sister, because sometimes she wouldn't switch profiles. So, you know. So I guess technically, I my real gamer score would be like 49,009 something. So I'm, I'm technically, from the stuff I got myself, close, but the profile says that. And I wish there was a way to just kind of remove it, but I don't see, like, there's, I, to my knowledge, there's no way to erase it from the record, so, that's the one problem, is that, yeah, so, maybe one day, maybe, you know, it's a big maybe, but maybe one day I'll play Dance Central myself, see how it goes. Skate 3, another really fun game, although the multiplayer in this game is, like, harder to, like, come by, so, yeah, I just, I don't know, I couldn't really find a lot of people for the multiplayer on this one. Skate 1, I'm missing one achievement, I think if I remember correctly, or, no, just, which ones am I missing, actually, it said, alright, up, uploaded photos to Skate Reel, uploaded six photos and 20 reviews, yeah, uh, the thing about it is, though, I think the online servers were shut down for this game, so I can't get those achievements, which sucks, that's a, that's kind of a theme sometimes with some of these games, Contra, pretty fun game, I only have, like, half the gamer score in it, though, WWE 13, I, I like the WWE games, they're pretty fun, easy, easy achievements, however, I'm missing two, and it's achieve the maximum rank and achieve rank 10. The thing I hate about these games, though, is how long the multiplayer is, like, just, like, it takes forever to level up, and there's only, like, 13 levels, I think, and it just takes forever to level up in that game, because if you win, you only get, like, a thousand or two thousand experience points, whereas if you lose, you get a couple hundred, but it takes like hundreds of thousands to level up, so you gotta keep playing matches, uh, especially at the end. But I remember uh, me and my friend, we would actually like just get home from school and just grind this out a little bit, we, you know, we would just play matches. And it was a lot of fun, but the online servers are gone, so that's an 80 gamer score I can never get. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, this is actually one of the arcade games I have more gamer score in. Um, some of the Xbox Live Achievements aren't too bad, um, just because, like, it's it's a little random. It's like, okay, so other things between former Stars members, so you got to play as, like, two different characters, and given by the names, like, I think it's Resker and uh, Chris that you have to play as. Faded Two world, Worlds, play a match on Xbox Live for, between marquee characters for this game, a reality. So, you know, cover guys, get them to make a fight about between them. Bring about the end of to the Civil War, so that's like a reference to like Captain America and Iron Man, which wow, I, I actually did not realize that. Now that I think about it, yeah, I did not realize that whole like wow, I did not realize that achievement name. I'm like I like the Marvel movies a lot, but I did not read the comics much, so it happened in the comics probably, and I just did not realize. And so yeah, unlock all achievements, 50 gamer score. That's like all the other ones. That's the last one you can get. Beat arcade mode on the hardest difficulty. So yeah, there's like a couple. The mission mode, that's pretty tough. You know, just like having to have frame perfect inputs. Uh, Doritos Crash Course, pretty fun game. Um, pretty simple game. Uh, Bioshock on the 360, I have all the achievements except for beating the game on the hardest difficulty. Uh, brass Balls, which is to beat it on the hardest difficulty without Vita Chamber and uh, tonics. I was actually, I remember I played this one playthrough 
and there was one tonic left that I had to buy from the gatherer's garden, and I uh, just could not buy it, which kind of sucks. I one day I really should go back and finish this one because like the you can easily manipulate it so that way you get brass balls. The uh, beat the game without using a vibro chamber on hard. You can easily get that achievement um, by just manipu man yeah, manipulating things. So yeah, pr it's an easy thing to do. I just haven't done it yet. Happy Wars. Uh, yeah, this game was, like, popular for a little bit. I remember I played it a little bit, but then I just lost interest. WWE 2K14, this is when 2K took over instead of THQ, and, yeah, that was an easy completion. 4,000 gamer score, mostly because the um, Xbox Live achievements were not hard at all. It was just, like, win 10 matches or something like that. Let's, yeah, win 10 ranked matches, and that was, like, the last multiplayer achievement you needed, so it didn't, like, I got the game Christmas 2013, I think, and I, it took till, um, what is that, May? Yeah, May to finish it, so, not that bad. Hexic HD, that's just that free game, or whatever, um, so yeah, uh, it's an alright, it's alright. Battle of Luck 3, they're pretty fun, um, I think there's some co-op things I need to do, um, not exactly sure what I'm missing in that. Okay, so, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. <clears throat> for this game, what happened was, uh, how I got GTA 5 was because um, my mom's boyfriend was getting an Xbox for his son and all that, and he did it over Craigslist, it worked out. The guy was selling also like a copy of GTA 5 with it, and so that's how I got GTA 5. As for Garden Warfare, um, his son picked that game up, but the problem was you needed an Xbox Live connection, and so... For whatever reason, we used my profile for like a little bit to show that off or something. I forget, I forget what happened, but yeah, it's just on there. I didn't play it at all, really. Although I don't know, I've heard thing, good things about it, so maybe one day. Uh, Trials. That's it's a fun game, but it's also a pretty difficult game. So I only have half the achievements, and I didn't get any of the DLCs. All right, so next, GTA 5 on the 360. Pretty fun. I'm mostly missing the high stuff. Um, Few, a few of the campaign achievements, like 70 gold medals, I didn't do on this version. But mostly heist stuff, because when the heist came out, and when I, you know, like, everyone was on the 1, I was still on 360 for a little bit after that. And so everyone was doing the heist on the 1. So that's why I don't have it on the mm, 360 version. Advanced Warfare. Uh, I have most of the achievements, I just have a few zombies achievements left, but it's like, I'm not planning on playing this game anymore. Like, it's just not that great a game at all. So I got the first three DLCs for it. And I did not buy the fourth one. I didn't get the season pass. I was just buying them individually. But uh, yeah, I did not buy the fourth one. I have no plans on buying the fourth one. I don't have any plans on completing the Easter eggs on the third map. I just don't care anymore. Runswick Pro Bowling. Okay, this was a, um, a Kinect game I decided to buy for myself because I am a bowler. And I thought it was going to be fun. It's not. Like, looking at the achievement list of this game, like, 50, 100, 50, 50, 50, 50, just easy achievements, right? You know, pretty easy stuff, but it's like, first hat unlocked, you know, first ball unlocked, okay, you, you know, you play the game, you unlock things. Play career mode to unlock items, play career mode to, like, yeah, you unlock pants, you unlock shirts, you unlock shoes, glasses, wrist guards, um, you gotta win an online match with the highest score. I don't think anybody is playing this game online. If they are, I feel a little sorry because, you know, this game sucks. You know, like, Wii Bowling is better than this game. It just controls hor horribly. Win an expert league, win a pro tournament, defeat a rival, and then win the world tournament. That's 200 gamer score right there. So, yeah, this game is just terrible. I don't know why I thought a Kinect game would be good, but, yeah. So we got Viva Pinata off Rare Replay. I just, I don't know, I'm not really into Viva Pinata. Um, really. It's just not my thing, I guess. I don't know. So there's that. Jetpack Refueled, that's from the Rare Replay stuff. Need to play that a little bit more. I like Jetpack. Jetpack's fun. It's just I don't play it a lot. American Wasteland, one of my favorite games of all time. I remember I actually first got this for the GameCube. And when I saw it in GameStop for the Xbox 360, I was like, I gotta get it, so that way I can, you know, play it again, because I love that game, and it would be cool to get achievements, and so, yeah. 
got this all done in 2012. Wow, really? It was that long ago, huh? But yeah, so the Xbox Live achievements were not hard to get. You just gotta, like, play a match. You don't have to actually complete anything. So, like, I did play something on Hollywood, and then I would just go through the list. 100% the classic mode, pretty simple stuff. The only hard achievement is complete the game to 100% because you got to get all the gaps, and that can be a little tricky. I used a nice... Well, I saw, like, a good guide for those. So, yeah, Modern Warfare... So yeah, I've completed it. I did, uh, let's see, where is it? Mile High Club, there you go. Yes, I completed Mile High Club. That was a real doozy of an achievement right there. And then, what's funny is after that, I went and did the whole thing on Veteran. And uh, instead of the other way around. But yeah, I, it took me a lot of attempts to get it. I tried probably on and off for a while. And then I just finally did it. Yeah, this was after I actually graduated high school. Like short, this was after I graduated, but before the like graduation party we had, I completed this, and it was just great. So, Explosion Man, pretty fun game. Uh, I think the only achievements I'm missing are like co-op stuff, and then like the hard mode stuff. So there's that. You got Plants vs Zombies. Missing one achievement in this game. And that is to survive 40 waves. Like, there's just this, like, big, like, wave-based game mode on it. And you gotta survive 40 waves. I've come close, but I haven't gotten it. Wipeout 2, another Kinect game. Only got two achievements in it. Not that great a game, really. Um, so, yeah, moving on, we got Battlefield 3. Pretty fun stuff. I, I'm mostly missing, like, the... Uh, like, the mission-based things. Not the campaign, but the other type of mission... Missing a lot of those, and then some multiplayer stuff. Uh, 2K15, I think I got most of the offline stuff. It's just that the online stuff I did not want to do. Didn't want to go through all that. So, Sonic the Fighters, it's an easy completion if you want it. Really, it's only going to take you like 15 to 20 minutes at most to complete it. So, there's that. Black Ops 2, main thing I'm missing are the side missions for the campaign where you had each in each level mission you would have 10 little side objectives to complete uh, collecting all intels and stuff um, so there's that and then also I did not really do the easter eggs on this game for zombies I just I don't know like it was a weird period where this is when people that were good at the game stopped playing in the public matches and just did private matches so I really and I didn't know one, anyone else at the time for it, so I just had no one to attempt the Easter eggs with. Maybe someday I'll go back and do them. Modern Warfare 2, mostly missing Spec Ops stuff on that. But yeah, I beat the game on Veteran. So there's that, just gotta do some Spec Ops things. Pac-Man Championship Edition, pretty fun game, I'd recommend it. Uh, it's not that bad of a completion at all, really. Uh, Fight Night Round 4, yes, the one that one game I did a Let's Play on that was extremely popular, if you haven't seen it. So yeah, we got all these achievements for just beating things on hard difficulty, but yeah, the um, online mode is what I have yet to do on this. I I remember a while ago I, pl I tried the online mode, but I was worse at the game then, and so I just didn't do it. We got Roblox. Yeah, that was like a free game, and the achievements seemed pretty easy, but like, I don't know, I just do not, I, do, I don't enjoy playing it much. And then you have, like, this. You got play for 10 consecutive and 20 consecutive days. Like, that's a lot of gamers who I'm missing, so maybe I should actually finish it. But, um, yeah, so, there's that. Just, I don't know, like, you never know when the day counter resets. And so that was the problem, I, is I was going on, logging on day after day, but for some reason just never unlocked, so I guess I missed, like, the time jump or whatever. So we got SSX, pretty fun game. Uh, I haven't played too much of it, but I do still enjoy it. Minesweeper, that's another, um, just Windows 8 game. So there's that. Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, this is a pretty fun game. Uh, probably my favorite multiplayer out of Call of Duty, I'd say, maybe. And I, it's at least the one I played the most. Uh, I'm mostly missing Spec Ops stuff, and I I just did not get the DLC for this game. 
because I don't really enjoy the Spec Ops missions as much as Zombies. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's that. I just don't enjoy Spec Ops as much as Zombies, so I didn't want to spend the money on the DLC for it. Guitar Hero 3, this is another game where I, uh, I actually had this first on the Wii, and then I got it again for the uh, 360. I'm missing a lot of stuff on this one. I think it's... I need to beat the game on Expert. I know that, yeah, and then Gold Star things on Expert. 200,000 calls of personality without star power. Use Whammy Bar on every held note on Number of the Beast. F through the Fire and Flames, and then different... Um, mm, different online stuff. Co-op things I haven't done. So yeah, that, that's the thing, it's that, like, there's co-op achievements, because I only have one guitar for the 360 version. Uh, there's also that one achievement where it's like, beat the game by using a controller, I forget what difficulty that was for. Hmm. I think it was hard or something like that, so. Anyway, DuckTales Remastered, this is a pretty fun game, I enjoy it a lot, um, I'd recommend picking it up. The only two achievements I have left are beating the game on hard and expert. I remember I started a, a, a hard run on it, but I never f went back and finished it. Maybe I should. It's backwards compatible, so I don't know what my excuse is. Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, again, it's like, I like Halo. It's a good game series. It's just that, like, I don't play it as much as other, game, as other games. So that's the whole reason why it's, like, so low in gamer score. It's like, I like it. It's just that I haven't been playing it a lot. Titanfall. I played it. Uh, it's pretty fun, I'd say, for what it is. You know, it's not as great as, like, other games, but it's an interesting thing, and I might grab Titanfall 2, I don't know, this one, it was fun, but it's, like, I didn't play it too, too much. Perfect Dark, uh, I started that one, never really went back to finish it. Banjo-Tooie started it, never really went back to finish it. I just do not know Banjo-Tooie as well as I know Banjo-Kazooie, so that's part of the problem is I don't really know it that well. So, yeah, maybe once I learn the game better, I'll go back and actually, like, complete it. I, Which is funny, because, like, I really want to complete it, but I don't know why I don't. Hmm. Halo Reach. Okay, this game. This game is definitely a highlight. For one reason, and one reason alone. This achievement. You blew it up. Noble One, your team blew up the research facility in a match-made invasion game on Breakpoint. For the longest time, and I mean for the longest time, way back since, let's see if I can find the other one, since 2012, my gamer score has been at an odd number because of that 42 gamer score achievement associated with the DLC. You know, the 42 and the 13 are supposed to balance out. So for years, my gamer score was at an odd number. I remember once I had 22,222 gamer score, which was really cool. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I hate odd gamer score numbers. You know, the only time I say it's acceptable is in Borderlands 1, where you have the 1 gamer score achievement immediately followed by a 49 gamer score. So, you know, it fixes itself pretty quickly. You know, but this... See, like, it took me just about, like, just under 4 years to get this achievement. And, like... Oh, uh, like, I have Guitar Hero Live. You'll see that later on in the list. So, Guitar Hero Live has some odd-numbered gamer score as well. And so, at one point, it got back to an even number. And I debated with myself, okay, should I not play any more Guitar Hero Live so it could stay on a nice even number? And then I eventually decided on no, because I'm missing out on a good amount of gamer score by doing that. So eventually I found, I use uh, True Achievements a lot. And so I found that, I found like a game session where people were trying to get this achievement, and we finally got it. It was a hassle to actually get this achievement that night, because like, just of how the multiplayer was set up. Um, like, you cannot find a match of this kind anymore. It's just search. You need to find people in order to do it. And found people we did. Uh, got my one of my friends in there. And we got one of his friends. And then some other guy. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, so many of us in this party just trying to get it. And we finally did it. So, woo. Back to even gamer score at that point. Uh, Binding of Isaac, I do like this game. It's pretty good. I'm just not that great at it, admittedly. I'm not the best Binding of Isaac player in the world, so yeah. But I do enjoy it. It's a fun game. Portal, uh, I like this game a lot. I did a Let's Play on it back in June, if you haven't seen that. But there's a couple, there's two achievements I'm missing. Just leaving the, only entering orange after getting both portals, that's a pretty tough one to 
just do because you have to memorize things. Just memorize, okay, you just got to keep that in the back of the head. And on top of that, uh, if you just stand in a portal too long, there's just some times where you're going to accidentally enter the blue one. So, And then complete the game without taking a bullet. I just, I've tried, I just can't seem to get that one. Ghost, pretty fun achievement. Uh, pr yeah, pretty fun achievement. Pretty fun game. Not the... It's like not the best Call of Duty, but it's and it's not the best of the. Um, it's not the worst one. I will say that it's not the worst one, and at least f like game, like the multiplayer wasn't that great, but the Extinction was fun. I liked the Extinction. It was different from Zombies, but still pretty good. Um, the only thing I didn't like about Extinction was how with the DLC maps after they got the like teeth system implemented, uh, the maps were like just super difficult around those teeth. Like, it was almost a requirement. And I remember just, like, I, I got DLC 4, but I never really beat it. So, yeah. And I, I, I like, I spent a lot of teeth. I got the uh, arc pistol attachment on that, and I just still couldn't. I, me and my friends, we just couldn't beat it. WWE 2K16. This is, yeah, like, with the WWE games... I just do not like playing the multiplayer, so there's that. I just did not play the online mode. And on top of that, my career mode just takes forever to get anywhere, so it's like, I haven't played in a while. But yeah, that's mostly the big thing, is that like I still have to win the, like, the WWE Championship belt, and then like grind out purchasing everything. So I still need to do that, but it just takes forever, so. Goat Simulator. Um... I have the original 1000, I did not buy any of the DLC because this was a free game at one of the months this past year, I think it was like free in April or May, um, and so yeah, I got it for free, pretty fun game, um, the achievements weren't that bad, and it was a nice boost of gamer score. Left 4 Dead 2, uh, I need to get the DLCs, and then like do a lot of other things, such as like uh, beat the game, like, beat the different, um, mission things on, uh, the harder difficulties and stuff like that. Grand Theft Auto V, I have completed that one. That was, um, did all the heists, did all the director mode stuff, just, it, it was a, it was a grind, especially for, um, what was it, what was it, it was, okay, no, not that. It's one of the heist achievements. Uh, yeah, so, this one, you spent a total, uh, well, one of the, this was one of them. Spending a total of $8 million purchasing vehicles, um, I don't know, like, just, I swear I purchased $8 million worth and it didn't unlock and then I purchased another thing, and it finally did, Solid Gold Baby, baby that was a tough one to get as well, just cause you have to find the right ones, but there was another one. Um, to do, completed... No, not that. Uh, there was one of them. I forget what it was. It was like 30... Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it here. Oh, wait, there it is. Mastermind. I, I scrolled right past it. 25 platinum medals. That was a pretty tough one. Just grinded that out um, with one, one of my friends. We just did the first heist, like the tutorial heist, back and forth, just grinding out the platinum medals for that. So that was a tough one. The Crew, this was a free game, although, like, I'm not a car person, really, so it's just that it didn't really entice me that much, so... At least it was free, though. Guitar Hero Live, um... I like this game. It's not as good as, as Guitar Hero 3, but still pretty fun. Uh, what I'm missing on this, though, are two achievements, uh, three achievements, actually. A thousand note streak, I got 99% of that done. I think my max streak was 998. Like, I did that on a Cry of a Achilles. And just, like, you cannot make a mistake on Cry of Achilles. I think I was doing it on, like, it's, like, easier medium. It's one of those two difficulties you're actually able to do on a really low difficulty compared to other songs. So, yeah, a thousand hero powers. I just never really use hero powers that much, so I gotta grind that out and strum millionaire, strum one million, million times. I wanna just do that one last, just in case it would mess with the guitar or whatever. Black Ops, okay. So, this game, big history with this game. <clears throat> Basically, 
I it took me a long time to complete this one because way back this was my first Call of Duty game, so I was not great at it, so I couldn't do veteran um, zombies. I remember I spent months trying to get the Easter egg achievements on these, like actual like months, you know. So like we got to do, do we got uh, where is it? So, yeah, Big Bang Theory there. March 18th, 2012. I don't remember when I got the DLC for this map. But, I mean, if we go back, we got Perks in Space. Well, actually, this gives us kind of a good idea. Yeah, I've been trying for the Easter egg on this map since January. So it took me a couple months to actually get that one. Uh, I got the halfway point there, and then I finally completed it there on the 18th. So it took me about two months past that. Um, the only one that was actually not that bad was Stranger Law. Because I actually got that on the first um, attempt on it. Who knows, maybe it's even, like, before that point, because, like, this is back in, um, uh, August. But yeah, it just took me forever to, like, actually get these, uh, achievements right here. Like, you see, Kill the, Dir Kill the Director, this was back in July, and I remember that was on an Easter egg run, and we just cut, we just messed up one of the steps and couldn't get it and everyone had to leave. But the guy that was training George to make sure he didn't mess with anything almost killed him. And so we just finished him off and then it took until August to finish that. So it took a while to get the Easter eggs. And then specifically, one more achievement. Fragmaster. Okay, so with this achievement, what happened was, you know, I tried to do it on the first mission where you got that big spot after you kill Fidel Castro. And you got the nice big area where you can just throw a grenade and blow up a lot of stuff. Once, I, ha I unlocked this achievement years ago, and what happened is I opened up the pop-up notification, but it was still locked, and for some reason, like, it didn't unlock, even though it said it did. So I was playing some other games, and I, I noticed that, hey, I should have gotten an achievement here, but I didn't. As it turns out, I think maybe my, um, because possibly my profile was offline at the time of getting the uh, Fragmaster achievement the first time, and that messes with it, and, like, once you're profile, as, as the person from Xbox explained it to me, once you're connected to Xbox Live, you know, you need to be connected to Xbox Live, otherwise information is screwed up or whatever. So, I had to, like, uninstall my profile, reinstall it, and then that fixed everything, and then I could unlock achievements again, but this was still locked, and so it took me, this was the last thing I did, it, and, like, after it became backwards compatible, so it took me a long time to complete it. I see this video is actually running pretty long. Longer than I wanted, but whatever. You know, we're almost there. Minecraft 360, I completed after the 1000, but I'm not going... I don't have any plans of going back for anything more. Microsoft Sudoku. Okay, this is part of the Casual Games Collection, which is what some of the like the previous ones were. I think Mahjong and maybe, uh, maybe Minesweeper are part of that. But yeah, the worst thing about this one is this. 112 Bronze Daily Challenge Badges. Uh, so yeah, you can only get one type of a badge per month, so this took me 12 months to do. Like, you gotta just do one per month over and over again, you got like eight golds, and golds you have to basically be almost perfect on it. So yeah, that is really annoying, um, and I have other games like that. Rare Replay, pretty fun. I like playing Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, I like some of the older stuff, I just, there's a lot of stuff I need to do on that. Super Meat Boy, I got that, I think, when it was free, and backwards compatible. Um, pretty fun game. I still have to beat it. It is it is as tough as people say. So yeah, we're almost there. Halo Master Chief Collection. This, um, I don't know, like, it's just such a big game that I'm not even really close to done with it. And there's, like, a lot of multiplayer stuff that are miscellaneous here and there. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Pretty easy completion overall, really. So, yeah, I'd recommend this as an easy completion game. If you want to. Um, get some some extra game score. Banjo Kazooie. This is just I don't know why it's doing this, but yeah, I got Banjo Kazooie 100%ed. Battlefield 4. I got most of the achievements on. I'm missing the DLC stuff. I didn't get the DLCs um, and a few campaign things as well. Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. Pretty fun. I'm missing a couple of the harder achievements on this one where it's like get a S rank on things. Yeah, I'm missing. S ranks, and I'm miss missing uh, finishing the adventure, 
but it's a good boost of gamer score for what it what I've done so far. Borderlands 1, I have the main game completed, I have DLC 1 completed, I just have the other couple DLCs to go through, and I tried to do some of that, but I wasn't able to, like, the one with, like, the arena coliseum fights, like, my character is, like, level whatever it is, 60 or something like that, whatever the max is after the first DLC, the zombie Ned Doctor whatever thing, anyway, and it's pretty tough, so I think I might need to do that in co-op. Fallout 4, I just recently completed the uh, Benevolent Leader achievement, as you'll see right here. Yeah, I completed this at the beginning of the month. It was super, super difficult to actually do this. Like, it was very annoying. Um, I do plan on getting the DLC later, though. So there's that. Uh, Minecraft, I've... Completed all the stuff that involved like killing the weather and stuff, but now with the new mini game mode, I haven't done those achievements yet. Black Ops 3, I've completed Easter egg wise. I've completed Dryzendrock and Zetsubo no Shima, so I still need to do Revelations and Gry Krovi, and I still need to beat the game on realistic difficulty. I don't even have it on beaten hardened yet because I just wanted to do it all in one run for realistic, so that's a thing I gotta do. You get Legacy of Duelist, I'm currently, you know, let's playing this, and so, yeah, it seems like pretty easy completion looking at the achievement list, um, most of it is just like, deal so much damage to your opponent via this type of effect, and there's a few multiplayer things and just beating the campaigns. Microsoft Solitaire Collection, so yeah, this is one of the very few, um, I think it might be the only one. But yeah, this is one of the Microsoft casual games for PC. So you can see, win 10 silver, win 8 gold, and then like all this stuff. And it's a thousand game to score, so it's worth doing. So I just have the bronze ones to go. I have... I think I started the process on this back in January, so I have November and December to go. So two more months and I'll complete this. Bioshock on the Xbox One, part of the Bioshock collection. Uh, so yeah, this was the game that got me to 50k. I did the whole like abuse the system thing to get brass balls pretty easily. So there you go. That was the achievement that got me to 50,000 right there was brass balls on the re-release of Bioshock. So I'm really happy. And then finally, Microsoft Jigsaw, another one of the um, casual PC games. And it is not that fun, really. Um... It is. It it has its problems. It, it crashes sometimes. But yeah, I mean, I might as well play it for the extra gamer score. I mostly play these casual PC games as a way to like pass time if I have nothing else to do. Like if I don't have an Xbox near me or whatever. If I'm like traveling or I'm on campus between classes, it's just something to do. But yeah, there we go. That is all the games that took me to get to 50,000 gamer score. So there we go. Uh, again, I started this process way back in mid July, mid to late July of 2010. And so yeah, it's been about six years. A really long time to get to 50K. I wish I could have done it faster. You know, I wish I didn't spend as much time trying to grind out max prestige on like ghosts or whatever. But uh, yeah, so 50,000 gamer score finally happened. And hopefully the next 50,000 is not going to take as long. So when I get to 100,000, I guess I'll see you guys at that point. Until then, uh, catch you on the next video.